Hi all, Dennis is with you, and you are on the Den Electro channel. Today we will make an unusual three-channel LED flasher using a board from an old clock. The board from which signals will be sent to the LEDs looks like this. I already made a video with its use. If anyone is interested, the link will be in the description and the upper right corner. In it I explained in detail how to use this board. Such boards can be pulled out of the cases of such old analog clocks. The boards in them are usually always of the same type, but not all have an alarm clock. Let's take a closer look at the board. In the upper left corner there was a speaker for an alarm clock. It was connected to the board with two wires. There was a plus here and a minus here. Now instead of it, you need to solder three LEDs connected in parallel. A coil was connected to the contacts located on the right side of the board. We solder six LEDs to them. Diodes will be soldered in opposite parallel. Three in one direction and three in the other direction. Below are two contacts that need to be bridged with each other. This will turn on the alarm clock from which the third channel of the LEDs will be powered. Well, at the very bottom of the board, power is connected. The clock was powered by a single 1.5 volt battery. But in order for the LEDs to start glowing, you need to use more voltage. Therefore, we will take a 3 volt battery. Then from the copper wire, you need to make two rings. The diameter of the wire in my case is about half a millimeter. Solder the LEDs onto the rings. Blue on one side and red on the other. LEDs of the same color are at an angle of 120 degrees to each other. After soldering, it should look something like this. Then we solder this design to the board. I connected the circle with the board with copper wire, but you do not have to do this. Instead, you can take ordinary wires. We solder the yellow LEDs in parallel. We arrange them in the form of a triangle. It should look like a Sam Fisher mask. Install the yellow LEDs in the center of the circle and connect to the board. Here you need to be careful and look so that nothing closes anywhere. All is ready. It turned out to be a very nice homemade product. Now we need to check it out. We connect the battery to our device, and it immediately starts working. This homemade product is convenient in that it can be changed as you like according to your taste. The wire can be bent as you like, giving it interesting shapes. You don't have to place the LEDs exactly like I did, it's all up to your imagination. The number of LEDs can be reduced or taken a little more, and you can use other colors. I do not recommend using a lot of LEDs, otherwise the board may break. That's all for today. Give a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ask questions in the comments if something is not clear to someone. And all for now.